Wait, is this gonna kill? Yeah, this is gonna kill. Ian finally putting himself on the board on life support. 2 0 still. Ian really needs to come back. He has no meter and can basically has a full stock. So as soon as he gets a hit, he could probably cash it out and go for a level 3 to just destroy Ian's life bar. Great teleport. And that's the thing, you're seeing a lot of like uh, instances where Ian can get damage, but starting with a jab is really detrimental to his uh, his gameplay or like his damage output, but that's just how Adelzim is with te uh, instant air teleport. So like he has to go for a lot of interactions versus JP who can kind of just get like, you know, 35% of your health in one shot. Especially now, he is actually in kill territory. If Ken can do one combo, he's dead. And then Ke uh, Ian is pretty much one combo away from the loser's bracket. Oh, what a DI. And this could be an opportunity for Ian. Goes for the mix-up. Nice block from Ken. Oh, no! Oh, my goodness. What a, what a drive reversal from Ian. But he has no health. This could be a kill. No, it's not. He has to watch for the yoga arch. Ken. Basically one hit away from death, making this a 2-1. What a, he was gonna trade, he can't actually trade. Standing heavy punch, winning it out. Ian, putting himself on the board, 2-1. Ken thinking about his life choices right now, like dang, I could have level three somewhere. Looking like they're trying to figure out uh, how to set up their uh, buttons right now after the fact. Maybe he wants to sh switch to uh, the Ryu, th Ryu theme. You know, the sickest theme in the game. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to do it. This is a little bit more of a chiller day for Laddy Esports with this national qualifier, and it's still a 2-1 deficit for Ian. He has to make this comeback against Ken, and it's kind of rough, right? Ken Sanity has a really good inkling of how to deal with uh, with with Dalzim's uh, general game plan, and I feel like Ian really needs to figure out more of how to deal with the uh, ground spike and um, all of JP's uh, zoning tools. Because he's trying to parry, which is good, but like you can't really get too much out of it, especially with Dalzim's slow walk speed. So he has to really like take advantage of like the read and teleporting him. What a DI. And it looks like Ian's actually adjusting really well. I feel like Ken needs to actually go back to that full screen because he's not it's not working out for him in the in the mid. Oh. And like I said, this isn't too bad. He just needs to watch out for or Ken needs to watch out for the teleport. There's the teleport. What a bait! Huge one from Ken, but great anti-air from Ian. Pushing him back into the corner. He needs to watch out for level one, but there's the drive gauge back in play. Wait, does that even work? Nice tech and great weathering the storm there from Ian. Ken using up all of his meter. For, doesn't have any for the next round. Oh no, the trade. No, no trade in time, but there's that great teleport. Ian actually recognizing that full screen I was mentioning before 
like teleporting uh, when you're getting the read off of that, off of JP's fireballs is pretty much the only way to really get a consistent punish against him. And you're seeing more of these uh, ground spikes and portal spikes from from Ken's JP, where he wants to just sort of do a really relatively lower commitment uh, uh, fireball. And I feel like in this instance, oh my goodness, what a great conversion for me in Yoga Arch Pressure. Nice, that's plus. If it hits the toes, it's always plus. Nice recognizing the... That was not a adv advantageous dive kick from Dalsum. Man, JP's jumping is so good too. Oh, but there's the Yoga Flame. And there's the pressure we're talking about from uh, Sim. Great DI to get himself out of the corner. No reaction from Ian. But this is close. This is getting to a 2 2. This is a potential 2 2. Tying it up could be kind of crucial for Ian to make this comeback. And Ken's kind of getting gassed out with the, how Ian is adjusting to the situation. As I say, that great conversion from Ken. Sim almost tying up the health deficit. But he needs to watch out. One bad teleport is a level 3 and death. There's the teleport. Great punish counter throw. No, huge, huge drop. But I don't think Ken has enough time. He has to go in for the offensive. He only has seven seconds on the clock. And there's 2-2. Two, two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, dude. JP's kudos have reached the required amount. And there's Ken. He wants to go in. He's forcing these situations with that drive rush. Nice anti-air. What the heck? Great tech from Ian, though. And there's a punish counter into full damage. Nice tech again from Ian. Trying to maintain that corner pressure is Ken, but there's Ian teleporting right out. DI, get off me. Whiffing the dive kick, Ian. Getting a conversion, but dropping the combo. Oh my goodness. This is kind of a little sloppy on both players, but resetting back to neutral could definitely help them both out. But I think Ken wants these scrambles. Ian's really good at like maintaining control, but as soon as he like loses that control, it's kind of like he really goes downhill. He needs to maintain that control, and he looks like he will be. He's gonna go for a burnout combo. That is not gonna kill, and Ian is gonna be burned out. I don't know how I feel about that. It's but he gets the slide. Ken wasn't ready, and this is match point for Ian. Ken needs to figure out an adjustment here, but he gets punish counter for his troubles, and that is a lot. Oh no, the instant air to... Oh my god, he is going ham hocks and mungo beans with the throw! Is this gonna be a perfect? It can't be, it can't be. Ken's gonna use his level two, and this is a full combo, regardless of whether it hits. Oh my god, Ken is gonna be coming back. Oh no! No, he didn't have enough meter, but then Ken! Unfortunate. Ken was so close to taking it over Ian, but Ian is staying solid and coming back from a 2-0 deficit. Again, thank you guys for watching. This is the Guam Esports Federation's Global Esports Games National Qualifiers 2023. This is going to be brought to you by Heavy Hitters, Guam Moonward Memorial, and of course, Coffee Slit, with our special sponsors for the event in general, Docomo Pacific Better Together, Wendy's, Cold Stone Creamery, and of course, Great National Insurance Under Iris. This is your boy, Shadow Gaming, and we're going to be going straight into the next match. It's going to be Caps 2, Ronnie versus Jason Umayam, the 2K aficionado himself. Running the bracket through, I don't. I think he's gonna play Ken. I don't know. Ronnie playing Guile or Modern Geef, and uh, if you're playing offline and you're playing Modern Geef and you just hear like freaking tapping, yeah, you know that they're trying to SPD through your block turns. Just FYI. So <laughs> it's gonna be a very interesting matchup, uh, mainly because it's gonna. Well, I think they're actually already gonna be going in straight into it, and it looks like it's gonna be a potential. Oh, okay, so Jason Umayam is going to be playing Ryu, and of course, Caps 2, Ronnie is going to be going for that Zangief, probably modern.
Yeah, it looks like he's gonna be going for modern geef, switching his buttons for that modern mapping. So if you guys don't know what modern controls are, it's a very new uh, system for Street Fighter VI where you can kind of replace special move uh, motions like quarter circle forward on your arcade stick into punch for a Hadouken and turn it into uh, just regular forward special and that'll give you that same motion. So it cuts down a lot of the execution necessary for a character uh, with the downside of obviously uh, giving you um, less damage for that. So what's up, man? What's up? What's up? Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Modern Geef versus Re oh, we got the button, uh, button check. check. So who's who? who? Uh, so Ronnie's gonna be playing Modern Geef, okay, and of course, so why I'm playing that Shoto. I think he's always played Shotos in, in uh, Street Fighter. I'm not too sure. Traditional. Really. I like that. I like yeah. the traditional approach, and I like Ronnie just going for it. Modern Geef. Yeah, I was playing him in a in a set, and you know, we did you play Modern Geef? Huh? You, you played as modern geef or God. Yeah, I played as modern geef oh, in, no a, in, a, in, a, in the set just earlier. Uh, and you know, like he's going through block strings and you kind of hear just tap, 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 tap. So he's like trying to do EXD, uh, SPD through my block string, which happened a couple times. So I'm like, as soon as I hear it. Hey, I man, up. I mean, you know, yeah. it's a good. It's a good plan. Yeah, it's right? a good plan, so. especially if you're not uh, aware of it. And it gives him a really good option for instant uh, air SPD, right? Yep. If he sees you jump, you can probably do it just as fast. So we see the approach here. Yeah. Jason and Wyam want to keep some space. But yeah. Oh, and there's that running bear grab. Actually has armor after a certain amount of frames, but mm -hmm. just do it. Oh, he did the, he did the Street Fighter 4 combo. It don't work here. Jab, jab, crouching, medium punch. I know exactly what you're doing. Oh, nice but. EX grab, 33%. Got 30%. Yeah, he's doing modern uh, uh, EX SPDs, which are slightly less damage, but still, like having that option of just doing a chunk of damage yep. uh, off of like uh, just a forward special is kind of huge. Jason yeah. trying to slowly play. Wow, just let it rock. Great punish. No, that is a Street Fighter 4 combo. <laughs> yeah, they don't work. So, but he does have him burnout. So, yeah. I mean, you know, there's and chip he has, options. He has the fundamentals, right? Yeah. He, he's understanding, like, yeah, I can, I can DP, I can anti-air a player that's in the air. You know, he doesn't really understand. Like, uh, Jason doesn't really have uh, the understanding of the drive gauge just yet. But he's straight up. Mm, you see, he has the fun. He has the fundamentals of anti-airing, right? Yep. And all he's doing is just kind of waiting it out. He knows that Geef is gonna have to come in. Ooh, what a reaction, okay. dude. Way to go, way to go. I, you know, and this is, like Geef still got him down to about 30%. Yeah. So. Granted, Jason looks like he's never played Street Fighter Six before, judging by his combo routes and like what he's doing. That's a very Street Fighter Four-esque uh, setup. See, jab, jab, jab is very, very akin to what you would do in Street Fighter Four because of the confir confirmation windows. Oh my goodness, the tick throw? He did it oh. again. Yeah, that's a Street Fighter 4 combo. Yo, uh, just gonna do a little little pro tip. It's it's crouching medium punch after the solar punch strike. Okay, solar punches, crouching medium. And then, you know, you got the combo. Yeah, he's gonna get it, he's gonna get it. But he still took that round perfect, you know. Yeah, just he did. Just a little fundamentals here. Yeah, see, he's doing tick throw setups. He's not, uh, Ronnie's not really aware of where his offense starts and where or where his office stops and Ronnie's is able to start his. And Ronnie's kind of trying to make his way into the into the pressure zone of Zgeef, which is essentially basically up in your face. Oh, no SPD from Ronnie. There's, okay, the, there's there And that's what I'm talking about, right? It's like as soon as he sees someone jump, he can actually just do jump and then forward special. And then he immediately gets the air SPD as an anti-air. Yeah, and I, I really, it's really fun to see someone basically play uh, just straight bare bone Street Fighter. He's not even using any mechanically, uh, mechanical, uh, like uh, new mechanics yep. in the game, which is hilarious. That's so <laughs> sick, right? Like he's just straight Street Fightering him, dude. Yep, and Ronnie doing a good job just being patient, walking forward, blocking fireballs. Yeah, there is no chip, so. And there's a lot of time on the clock, right? So, oh, oh. huge punish, oh. no! That's where the dry brush went. Oh! oh. <laughs> this man is so wingy. He can't churn butter because it's modern controls, but you know, let's just consider it that. Whoa! <laughs> that did so much damage, wow. bro. Are you kidding me? Dude, check out that guy, dude. You know he does like the lat spread too? It's so yeah, sick, it's dude. This character's buff. Ronnie getting on the board here in game two. Yeah, and you're gonna see Jason try to play a little bit more uh, passively, throwing a couple fireballs here and there. But no, oh. try to go for the air, uh, air SPD. 
Nice anti-air from uh, Jason. Oh god, he doesn't know. Yeah, he doesn't know there's armor there. afterwards. After a certain amount of frames, that thing has armor, so it at least absorbs one hit. Oh, wait oh, a nice minute. I don't think... Them. Yeah, wait. Ronnie could totally take advantage of mechan mechanics yeah, he here, He definitely right? could. He definitely... Oh, he could, right there yeah. He's matching him between the block string. If he just takes advantage of just doing a DI, I'm pretty sure Jason does not know how to deal with that. Yeah. Oh, oh that, Or, well, that's or he game. could just level three. No, that's the game. I don't think it is, because it's modern. Oh, it is modern. Controls. It's modern. That is true. But this does a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, okay, but not as much. Not as much. That's like a regular That's SCD. significant. That's a significant change. Ooh, in, but that'll kill him. That'll kill him. <laughs> and there's the dry brush. And that's First time Ronnie did it. Yeah, and I think that's what he needs to do is like you, if you notice that your opponent is not really taking advantage of the mechanics of the game, mm -hmm. you should, right? Yep, definitely. Imagine if uh, Ronnie was playing Street Fighter 4 and then Jason was just do dry, like, dry, uh, focus attack, yep. right? Oh, or he oh, can nice. just air SPD. Yeah, air SPD, that's a nice answer. I too. can guarantee you, though, he's going to get it. He's going to get it. Oh, okay, he knows how to oh, yeah, play. He got a parry. He got a parry. He got a parry. Oh, no. And there's EX SPD. That's going to take half your health. Jesus, that does so much damage. Punish counter. Air. Oh, empty so jump now, SPD. Now he's he's going to do it again. Dictating the pace of what he wants to do. No, no cancel off of that jab, but great anti from Jason. Oh, oh instant gosh, overhead. Instant overhead. And remember, you know, the thing is like. Jason, he doesn't know the. Clearly, he doesn't know combo the combo route, right? That, yeah. oh, okay, that was oh, ballsy. Oh no! Oh, oh my God! What is going on? Oh no! Okay, just, just oh, grab. Oh. Everyone's going crazy. Oh no! He doesn't. I don't. I think Jason definitely knows what burnout means, but Geef doesn't really have that many chip options. True. But he does now. Now that he has drive impact. Just flex. Oh, oh the footsies. <laughs> Did he just do crouching heavy kick? He did crouching heavy. Yeah, that he was just crouching did heavy. crouching heavy kick in neutral. Does That's it have so further so range than crouching medium? Yes, but it's also minus 12. Legit. So. Legit. Ooh, oh. good anti-air. I think just Ronnie wasn't blocking. That's going to definitely hit. Oh, OK. That that, that's nice to have, but that didn't do as that much damage. That did the damage. same amount as an AX SPD yeah. or EX DP. Oh, less than an AX SPD, apparently. Oh, uh oh! Wow, okay. this is not looking you good can't for Jason. Take too many more of those. Yeah, Jason trying to go run away a little bit. He wants to get that drive gauge back. No! Oh, okay, that's Shoot, the round. He might be dead. That's the round. Oh my goodness! That's doing more damage than the EX. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think Ronnie has that because in, in modern you actually have the opportunity to do both. You can correct, do classic, correct. and of course. <gasps> okay, well, that's a good answer. <laughs> that that's gonna break the armor. Oh and remember, no! This is game two. This is first of three though. So. Yeah, and Ronnie kind of just doing. Ronnie just, like, throwing Hail Marys, and I love it, because he, oh my god, wow. dash up SPD. You know how difficult that is if you're just playing a, like, oh! This man is scary. Capsu! There you go. Oh my, there that's you a heavy go. SPD. One more SPD, and he's done. Spinning pile driver on deck! Yeah, the anti-air. How come that works? Oh. Like, you know, well, and it doesn't work on the Twitter, right? Like, yeah. Or she could post that no, up. because I was playing Ronnie in a set. I jumped in twice, and he tried to do it twice, and it whiffed. And oh. I felt so bad. I think and maybe cross-up range, it, it's uh, faulty or something. Yeah, it's, it's kind of funky. So... Ronnie now going up 2-1 two, one two, in his one. first of three. Remember, this is the... Uh, I think this is Ronnie's first Street Fighter tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to get into the game. I know he's going to be playing. I think he ordered just a, a new hitbox, so... Yeah, a lot of people have been getting, like, Worley from the FPS team at UOGs is getting sure. into it. Yeah. He's 1,300 in iron, dude. He was like, Man, what? He was down grinded. in the trenches doing a, a 1,000. You can't get any lower than 1,000 LP in that game. 1,300? Really? Yeah. That's, so he, that's iron? No, so 1,000 to, like, uh, 2,000 is, like, iron. So he's at 1,300 Oh, right oh now. wait. So I guess every rank has their own 1,000 to 2,000? Yeah. Oh. No, yeah. Right? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no, no. You, you know, yeah. you're right. 1,000. Yeah, 1,000. Okay. Okay. So I'm you can't get like, yeah, any well, lower I'm than 1,000. You mean like, 10? I'm close to 1,300, but that's like 13,000 yeah. or something. Yeah. For like plat or something. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anyway, back to the action. And we and Ryu's life is gone. I don't know what happened <laughs> while we were talking about the <laughs> rankings, but... It's okay, you know, like all he has to do is play that fundamental game, wait for Ronnie to jump in, maybe take advantage of the, ooh, yeah, that, take advantage of huge whiffs like that, which we'll is walk up heavy punch. Oh no, okay. oh no, oh no. Okay, oh. we need Lariat, Lariat would have been. Yeah, l I don't, <laughs> there, 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 there. <laughs> he hurt you, dude. He's like, oh yeah, I forgot I had that move. That's an anti yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's a nice anti I don't have to do super all the time and just hope for the best. And... Oh, okay, we nice tried to go jump for a right there. Ooh, we got a combo. 
Yeah, I feel like Jason needs to get more into the combo routes to get the damage output because he's getting the hits, just not converting it yeah, to Yeah, exactly. And if you're playing tic-tac-toe where one player has to play to four and you have to play to eight, yeah, that's <laughs> rough. It's a good analogy. I like that. Yeah. Oh, I mean, great. Rock, great paper, scissors, paper. It's rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. When you take the guy so can only play rock. <laughs> Yo, good old rock. It's frame zero. Oh, yeah. It's frame zero on rock. Here we go. Another command grab. This is Geef just walking him down. And yeah, remember, no, I, you know, he hasn't shown the other mechanical. Yeah, he hasn't DI'd. You know? It ha he ha like Ronnie has yet to D uh, drive impact uh, Jason to see if he can even know how to deal with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did the one time. But he it, did it one EX time, but he, right? yeah. So I'm curious to see if uh, Ronnie will even like take advantage of the mechanics of the game. He's just been kind of playing. Well, that is oh, a lot boy. of damage. He is in the corner. Whoa. He is bleeding. Ronnie on match point. Only one hit needed. He Yo, just, he just did, he did, it. did it. Oh, it, oh. God. That's what I like to see. That is, you know, that is the world being set straight. Okay? <laughs> yeah, like, dude, like, how this, dare you? This the man audacity. just walked up 720, audacity dude. walk up level three? <laughs> oh, and there's Ro Oh, wow. Great okay, anti-air nice from Jason. Okay, Yo, the, we got those the Hadouken anti-air. <laughs> okay. Nice little, you know, see, Jason has this nice traditional movement. You know, backdashing, giving him a little bit of space. Yeah. Trying to hang himself, right? Trying to hang Ronnie. There you go. There, I want to see uh, more of that. Okay, oh, now let's do This is okay. going to be a punish counter. This is a lot of damage. Yeah, wow. If that was like a real AX SPD, that would have been like 4,500. Yeah, that's It's crazy. crazy. Oh, oh, no. Ronnie's just, Ronnie just fishing for Ron, it. Ronnie just wants to go but in. He, you know, he, modern Geef, like, yes, you get the one button or one direction specials, but I mean, you still have jab, 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 yeah. whatever, or like confirms into. <laughs> 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 he still got confirmed. He can into still damage, do drive right? rush like, into yeah, drive EXSPD, into which is really scary, right? Yeah, just get the knockdown, drive rush over the body, and just. Okay, oh, but okay, Ron. Maybe not. Yo, maybe not. Jason. Oh, he might be dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Okay, okay. One. Oh, see, I would have just done it. I would have drive rushed over it. You know, you force the EXDP. Yeah, force the EXDP. And this is so scary for. Oh, my okay, God. Okay, ooh. Little t tippy toe. Oh. See, Ronnie's got that good spacing, too. Ron Look at that. Ronnie right discipline, the, right? The discipline. He, he, should just, he should just run up DI. Does, does Keith have the. <laughs> oh, there's the DI. That, and Ronnie. Ronnie moves on in the winner's <laughs> bracket. With the oh, no. Modern Keith play. I like it. I Shout like out it. to Jason and Ryan. Who, do we have a champion? I, I got to play. You guys played yet? Oh, you guys played? Oh, my no, just, what do you mean officiator? Just set up the thing and play. You're your own officiator, man. Welcome to, welcome to fighting game tournaments. Wait, you won, right? Huh? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, guys. Oh, it's Barry. It's Barry on stream. Is that, what, is, that, is that what's going on? All right, let me jump over here, guys. Welcome to the uh, Global Esports Games, the Guam Esports Federation National Qualifier. We got myself, Ken Sanity, and uh, Kreshel. Yeah, I just took the headset. The stream master. So Kreshel, this went from like a four-player tournament to like 10 people. Yeah, I, get, I mean, people strolling by here, it's free. It's free, and you get to go to Riyadh if you win. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? And you get to play at least a couple games of Street Fighter. Yeah, that sounds a like a win-win. Yeah. Double Elam. And we're doing best of five the whole bracket? First, to, yes. Yeah. Yeah, best of five the whole bracket. Make it fun. Enjoy the rest of the day. We're at the Micronesian Mall, second floor. Um, we also have the finals for the, uh, man, what is it? E-Football 2023. Right now, the finals is Aaron Vice, who you see on stream right now, and he will be taking on um, Revo Shark. And one of those two gentlemen will be going to Saudi Arabia. Riyadh to represent Guam in December at the Global Esports Game Championship. And the winner here at, uh, for Street Fighter will also go to Riyadh to represent Guam. So huge opportunity. Shout out to the Guam Esports Federation, Eric Blas and the team there who have uh, put together that wonderful opportunity. All expenses played, you know, hotel, airfare, rest of the accommodations. That sounds great. As we got right. Shado versus... Uh, that is a C next to Zangief, not an M. Just wanted to point that out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Aaron plays it uh, classical. He's a, he's a purist. I was just playing him, though, and he's like, well, you know, we were playing, and mm -hmm. then... 
He's like, man, forget this. Goes to character select, picks modern Zangief. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I, you know, I, that's what I was expecting. But I, you know, I, oh. I don't think there's anything wrong. You know, there's actually, I can't hear a lot of game music. But yeah, it's uh, the PS4 pads. Ah, uh, I you see. Know, they take the audio. Ooh. So but, um, after this match, I'll sure, no problem. Fix that up. But uh, you know, I, I think modern is a great gateway into, you know, getting into the game, right? It's like it's not too bad. Obviously, modern players can vie with the best of them. But uh, for a new player, if you, execution is something you struggle on, well, why not set up modern controls and you know play to the, your strengths? And as Mr. Shado here with the spicy level three in game one to uh, to take game one. So Shado, no, no, uh, no stranger to competition. He's a gamer, so. Every game he touches is exceptionally good. So uh, we'll see how game two and game three, and potentially game four and game five go here. Game two, Ryu versus Zangief. Shadow versus Eradication. Shout out to Erada, Eradication. Aaron Vice, he's in the final of the FIFA third, East E football tournament. He'll be taking on Revo Shark. There, is, is that move gone in modern? The uh, uh, the, the kick thing? Dude, I have no kick? idea. I, I have not touched modern once since getting the game. So Shado burning a little bit of a drive gauge here, put a, add some damage here, and he's just spacing it out like he has no need to come in. Oh, there, that's it. Yeah, that's going to be dead. Drive, in, drive impact answer back. Yep. Also, this is just, well, this is on the stream, and I know we are dropping a lot of frames. I'm not sure what it is, but I am recording, so I'll re-upload with a better quality afterwards. No worries. So Shado in there with this damage, using a ton of meter. It should be dead. I'm just got level three, it. yeah. Got the level three on deck. Let's move to game three. We use uh, level three is pretty wild looking. Like it looks like it does a lot of damage. Yeah, I like the when it uh, mutes the colors. Yeah, no, it's I, sick. Uh, yeah. So not sure what the eradication needs to figure out here, right? Because we know Shado against grapplers. At least my experience playing against him, he is down to like just sit back and force the grappler to try to get in, which is, it's smart. Yeah. I, and this is, this is tough, right? I, for Zangief, this is, this is tough, but he, he needs to find a knockdown and he has to capitalize once he gets it. So that approach is possible, but uh, Not it's a little slow, grade, right? Yeah. You, need, you need like a drive rush or something to kind of, he, he, Zangief has to live off of the mechanics of the game to, to succeed. There you go. That's a good option. Now you got to continue pressure. Find a find a different way to continue pressure. Like and he has to, as Zangi, every time you get in, you have to set the, the tempo. Like, so Shado, not afraid. He's burned himself out here. Um, still, a, many, still a lot to do in this round. So um, he's very confident here. But as Zangi, you you, you got to get the knockdown, and you just got to show different looks. Like you have to train your condition your opponent to. To either jump away from a command grab. Oh, see, that, that's what you're talking you about, the range, right? Exactly. It's like that. Oh, my. <laughs> the shore you jump naturally, avoiding the uh, avoiding the grab. And Shale takes it 3 0. I think I'm next. It was quick set. Yeah, let's see you. It's me and Ian. Archim and, and, and Ian. Oh, we're moving further into the, the winner's bracket here. Ian Fergurger with the Dalsam, second place. Hold up. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll just leave the headset here. He's going to be taking on um, Arjun, the stream master himself. So Arjun plays a ton of characters. I don't know if he plays Chun or, or, or Jury or if he'll play Manon here. Uh, Yo, this is so nostalgic to be behind OBS. Okay, so sure. Crystal versus Ian's already being set up. Of course, thank you to our sponsors, Wendy's, Docomo Pacific, Better Together. Of course, Great National Insurers and Cold Stone Creamery. And Laddie Esports would not be possible without our special sponsors, Heavy Hitters, Guam Moon Memorial, Coffee Slut, and 
UOG Triton Esports, as well as the Guam Esports Federation. I think we're going to be up next is going to be Kreshel versus Champion. Again, Champion was uh, having a little bit of a run against uh, Ken Sanity, having a little bit of trouble doing the Dalsen play, but or the JP uh, matchup, but coming back from that 2-0 deficit to win it over 3-2 was crazy for him. In any case, Kreshel going to be on player one side, most likely going to be playing Manon, well, he can play Manon, he can play Chun, he can play Jury. Ian's just going to be straight up playing Dalsium. And it looks like we're going to be going straight into it. How come there's no there's no audio or like music for <laughs> there's no music for that part? Oh, we're on cloud save. I think uh, there's no music on. There's no music on because I turned off music when I stream. <laughs> yeah. Playing a super methodical game. Like Chun Li is actually going to be doing such a great job. Uh, would do such a great job against uh, Dalsim just because the Zanchu exists and she has such great normals uh, to try to like stuff out Dalsim's uh, uh, long range ones, especially his back heavy punch. A great high active frame move, but Kreshel has to weather the storm first in this full screen setup, uh, full screen game against Dalsim. Nice, I like him pushing himself a little bit outside of that teleport range in case. Uh, there is a combo opportunity for Ian, but Kreshel actually using an EX Zanchu and unfortunate for e, uh, him getting hit and Ian taking round one. Yeah, Kreshel using that EX Zanchu to great effect. That's what basically what the game plan is if you see a Yoga fl uh, Fire on uh, the screen uh, in this matchup against Dalsium. Wow, what a jab. Great keeping space away from Kreshel's Chun Li. And Kreshel kind of just running into these normals. Great force knockdown pushes himself or pushes Ian into the corner slowly but surely. But Ian, great space control, pushing himself into that move. Wow! What a bait from the Hazancho. Dive kick was unsafe. But the great pressure from Ian. And now uh, Kreshel has to really worry about uh, health here. Any sort of teleport. Wow! And he gets the dri uh, drive impact into a full combo. Ian taking game one. And they're just going straight into it. Game two. In favor of Ian. Great lightning kicks. Uh, pressure, but... No damage to be done too much against Dalsim just yet. He needs to take advantage of his uh, of his drive rush more, especially with crouching medium kick, right? A really great drive rush tool uh, to force some pressure against Dalsim. And, and I like uh, Kreshel respecting Ian. You know, like if we're older than like 30, you should just try to drive impact. See what happens, you know what I'm saying? Great pressure. Oh, but teleporting out of the corner is Ian. Nice Serenity stream, but doesn't uh, de uh, drive rush out of it. And the drive reversal pushing Chun-Li out. Resetting the situation in his favor is Ian. Oh, wow. He tried to go for... Uh, Kreshel trying to go for Tencho kicks to anti-air that... Uh, air special from Dalsim. Great jump in. No, that was a special jump. Could not do a conversion off of that to punish Dalsim. And actually, Ian uh, always seems to be in burnout in a lot of the matches I've been seeing him play. And that is a safe jump setup. Here comes another one. Oh, he's blocking. He wasn't. Unfortunate for Kreshel. No, he's dead. And Ian taking round one, stealing that round away from Kreshel. Nice using the uh, EX Fireball to try to maintain some uh, space control. Great anti-air jab. Nice, minus eight. No, no punish. Drive reversal is uh, punishable on block. 
Just has to be a bit more cognizant. No, the Serenity Stream cancel whiffed. Chun Li not getting the full damage output he need uh, she needs. And actually, Ian being a very respectful for a lot of the normals that are relatively minus on block, even in burnout uh, against Chun Li. Nice little gimmick there. Uh, Chun Li getting a throw right after Lightning Legs. Whoa, oh my god, that DI was so scary. Yeah, and like, I love Ian just being a wall against pretty much all of Kreshul's offense. He's just straight blocking, right? He's, he knows that Chun-Li doesn't necessarily have the strongest overhead game, so he just has to wait it out. And this could be death, yes, it, it, and it is. Quick 2-0 from Ian. And slowly but surely, Ian making his way with all of that health, uh, well, all actually a lot more meter than uh, advantage than Kresha with that drive gauge. Minus eight, no, doesn't doesn't properly punish it. But Ian, huge burnout. Great tech. And Ian trying to run away. He actually has one of the better options with yeah, with instant air teleport. Like I said, right there. Oh, so close to burning. No, and there's the teleport. As soon as Ian feels like he's threatened in the corner, he's just gonna do EX, or rather, instant air teleport, right? He wants to get out of that situation, and Dalsim is one of those slippery characters that can kind of just get away for free. And it's really been, really been helpful for Ian's uh, game plan to try to maintain that space. He's burned out again, right? <clears throat> and he's like, you know, I can totally burn out, right? Like, what can, what can this uh, character do against me? Especially when I wake up super. That didn't fully combo, what the heck? Ian on match point. And Kreshel trying to pull force the situation, great jump in, and like Ian, a great use of these uh, drive reversals. It's kind of crazy because he's willing to use so much drive gauge and I feel like no one is yet to punish it except maybe uh, Aladar. Great throw from the DI. Yeah, and Kreshul just not anti-airing those uh, those setups. I'm pretty sure Tencho kicks would be great. It's a really dif relatively difficult uh, motion to do in the heat of the moment, more so than a DP, just because down down special seems like a very interesting uh, norm, uh, special move choice for an anti-air. Oh no, missing his Serenity Stream combo. Unfortunate for uh, Kreshel, basically match point Ian right now. And Kreshel's in burnout, he needs to watch out. Is it possible for him to level three through the storm? No, he tries to jump over the yoga arch and that's it. Kreshel, unfortunately, getting knocked into loser's bracket, but Ian moving on in the winners. And we're gonna go straight into the next match. Oh, okay. <laughs> And we will be right back. We're going to get another caster going. Most likely, it's going to be Kreshel on the ones and twos again. Okay. I dropped just like 400. Uh, Sometimes it's green. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Let me. Uh, what do we have next? Also, can you change the audio source again? Yeah. There we go, now we got music again.
Okay, so up next we got Shado versus Alidar. It's, uh, two strong players, yeah. They're pretty good. So we got Shado on the player one side, Alidar on the player two side with Luke. Alright, and intro skippers, you'd love to see it. Getting into it. Opening up with an EX Sandblast. And quick parry, good. Answers by Ali are so, like, right out the gate. And you'll stick to the Sandblast game. And just barely makes it to the wall. Gonna take the safe jump, empty land throw. Gets two. Alright, Aliar trying to bait the throw, gets it the second time. Ooh, the, ju the jump's just a little short. Anti air attempt whiffs. Aliar taking the first round. The overhead connects. Aliar kind of just like. Running his offense. Kato yet to put a stop to it, but the EXDP is gonna give him some space to breathe. Unfortunately, he is burned out. Jumps over the drive impact that would have stunned. Nice anti air. These anti airs are coming through now. Game one. Mode select. Ooh, let me change. Oh, what are we doing? Let me see. And stuff, but be getting right back into it. Aligar up a game. What's going on here? What is this? Right. this is Alidar versus Shado. Alidar up the game. DI. Shado, old man, not that old. Look at these reactions into the nice little combo here. Alidar burnt out. This is going to be a slight problem for Luke. But you know, usually burnout is a problem. Yeah. But not with Alidar. It's like if you have, there's some characters who are fine to just burn out because, like, look how comfortable he is just to play this range, especially with Sandblast, right? Mm -hmm. Though losing the access or losing access to EX Sandblast does kind of hurt a bit. Sure. But it's I mean Sandblast is still a good projectile, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh definitely, definitely it is. But uh Aladar, Aladar showed there he's able to take a, take that first round. He's up one O so far in this uh O D D P. Get him off. Stop that stop that uh, pressure. But Aladar. He's so confident. He's so confident with his offense that, you know. Puts himself in this burnout here. He knows he can maintain some corner pressure. Nice neutral jump to bait the throw tech. Yeah, I do think if burning out here is not bad because burning out is only really threatening when your back is to the corner, right? Yeah, yeah. But if you yeah. corner them and you're able to maintain your pressure for extended period of time, you can build up, like, in that sequence, he built up 70% of his drive gauge back already. Nice little whiff shimmy there to punish the whiff into that. Uh, DI in the corner, nice little combo, 50%, nice empty jump across up, and Shado doing a good job to see it. He's oh, burnt out, and he has the corner. The actually catching that, uh... Oh, wow, that crowd was sweet. 
Aladar taking advantage of uh, some older player habits. The neutral jump to beat the tech options. Looking for that DI, the raw DI. Check to see how Barry, how old Barry was. See if that was a legitimate play. Oh, oh that's gonna be a punish counter, yeah. Oh no, Shadow slightly out of range, but. Oh wow, no, going for a he went, reset. that was cheeky. That was a little too cheeky on Shadow's part. Yeah, both players now burned out, but Algar was gonna get his drive gauge back with this level three. Shadow's still a long way back, or a long way to go. Yeah. But like really, like, you just, Oh, you gotta play for strikes. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's, yeah, that's, that's what you would hard, do. yeah. Nice. Aladar. Aladar, just playing at another level today. Every day. Always playing at another level. Aladar going off to the Rev Major. End of the month. Okay, we're doing Caps 2 versus... Uh, Caps 2 versus Ian, champion. Sim versus... Will we see the Guile or will we see, will we see the Geef? That's the question. I feel like the Guile will be you need more to, enjoyable. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if Ronnie wants to play a Geef versus Sim. Oh, versus Sim? Yeah, no. Like, the yeah. thing is, like... Uh, he's playing classic Guile, and you know he's kind of having a little bit of a trouble trouble with execution and the, and the uh, Sonic Boom. Sure, sure. So I would, I don't I don't know how he would do. Maybe modern Guile. So modern he has Guile? less. He's yeah, a viable definitely character. viable character. Yeah. Strong character. But I feel like there's a lot of soul searching when you're playing classic Guile and modern Geef. Like the complete opposites complete. of each other. I mean, you can play modern Honda. Cool. Arguably the most optimal modern character in the game next to modern Lily. You know. Arguably. Yeah. Arguably. Ultra David saying like he only he's only losing two moves that yeah. are very important to his kit. Which is like standing like kick and something else. I don't know. Probably like the standing actually, medium. Yeah, standing medium. Well which is not important to his kit, but Yeah, exactly. I actually don't think he has the He has he has heavy punch. No, the down forward. The oh kick, yeah, he the, doesn't the stomp, have uh, he stomp. has so sumo overhead, yeah, he doesn't have that. And which mean, is like whatever, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that's like a that's like a funny thing. Yeah, he's still Modern, oh, modern this is rough. Beef. This is gonna be tough. So I know the other day we said that Sim kind of like is different in this game because now he wants to play not, not close, but I mean he has the option of being in, right? But that doesn't mean that he can't play in his traditional range of full screen. He can definitely do that. You see there, teleport, which will be very hard for Geef to answer. Harder than any other type of uh, response or any other character responding to a sim here. Yeah, no, it's going to be really difficult for Ronnie to just try to get in. I mean, he's aware of using drive, uh, drive uh, parry as an option to try to get like navigate through these fireballs. But you know, sim can just go in. Yeah, no, exactly. So you see here, uh, names are wrong. But you know, we got Ian with the sim. He's able to get round one of game one versus Ronnie. Who's playing the Geef there, the modern Geef. So remember, these are first to three. First to three matches here. And there you go, fireball. Crowd, uh, standing heavy punch. A lot of tools. A lot of great anti-air choices. Yeah, no, like now you got that. Fireball. He definitely has a great amount of tools. He has air fireball. He has yoga arch. He has regular yoga fire. So he has a wow. lot of uh, tools in his arsenal. But he's gonna get running bear grab for shuffle. So. <laughs> See, the one thing that I think really makes this difficult is that Geef can't just like. I mean, he has to do like the cartwheel kick or drive rush or whatever. A lot of committing. Yeah, a you lot have of to commitment. commit to get in. And I once you commit. Oh, did he just breed him? Yo, oh, that was such a sick there read. You go. I like, oh, oh, no, it's BD. Oh, oh, okay. Rodney. He's, dead. Oh, Rodney. He's so close that to death. Love, wow. Wow. Yeah, Ian is going to want to try to teleport out. Oh, but he's trying to go for He's pushing himself out of the corner. Putting himself back in. Okay, and there's nice the V uh, drive, drive reversal. reversal. Oh, Ooh. no. The big dude. <laughs> what is with, like, the UOG Triton eSports team and just taking out strong players sometimes? I, dude, like, I that's know. round one, dude. That's crazy. You, you know what they have? I'll say this. These guys have, like, a killer mentality. They smell blood, and they're on it. Yeah. They're so patient. Like, you know, losing a lot of the round. But yeah. Then, when it counts, it yeah. counts, man. Yeah, they're, they're going for it. But it looks like Ian already used the a majority of his drive gauge caps to barely alive right now less than half of his health 
and Dalsim slowly chipping away at that uh, tree. Oh no! <laughs> okay, see, there's a telegram. That's what we're talking about—the commitment. Yeah. Like Dalsim gets commitment. out really for free. And this is looking really strong for Ian. This might be a perfect. It is. It a 30-second perfect, perfect with that many block strings, and Dalsim, or rather Ian, taking game one. I mean, let's be real here. Really, relatively convincingly, despite losing the first round, uh, second, second round. round. Sure, sure. Like he is in full control. Yeah. Of As neutral. he should be. Like the, this, yeah. this matchup is not a exactly. This is supposed to be a very, very difficult matchup for Geef yeah. in the past 20 years of Street Fighter. This has yeah. always been difficult. But once Geef gets in, then it's really difficult for Dalsim. Yeah. So yeah. it really comes down to what um, what Capsu can do on Ian's knockdown, which he's not going to be able to get to, but he gets okay, the command. He does get that. Command grab. Now Huge. Try oh. Uh, ooh, wow. Yo. He did it again. Wow. I There's like no that. way. Man, but Drive he could have done it again. Oh, oh, oh I he had no he was meter. Be XSPD or something. Yeah, I'm genuinely surprised he's not lariating in those ranges. I feel like it's a very strong tool mm -hmm. against Dalsim. He's just kind of right in front of your face in a really weird range in the air. Yeah. Nice parries. And Capsu uh, has really not been taking advantage of like post SPD mix ups. Like I know there's some that are kind of fake. Oh my God, this could be his opportunity to drive rush into yep. a meaty. Yeah, you, yeah, you definitely have to take advantage of. Uh, well, I guess you know that's some deep study. I, I don't even know what those, those options. Oh, wow! Oh, like, okay, the teleport. The teleport. <laughs> Ian's like, fool me once, shame on me. <laughs> fool me twice, shame on me again. But you can't fool me three times in a row. Definitely not. No. Oh, great nice conversion! Combo, nice conversion. Oh, the fake Game teleport. Two going to champion. That was quick. You know, Ronnie's getting these little bits and uh, little interactions that are really making him feel like he has control over a lot of like his movement. He just needs to get down the drive rush afterwards. Correct. Know? And I mean, you know, to be fair, I think Ronnie just picked this type of modern control on a stick today. So wait, he's just uh, he started playing today? No, mod uh, the modern control. Oh, I so, see. Yeah, and on a stick, I think that can be the like, configuration can be kind of challenging to to learn, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, he's holding his own. He's doing pretty well for. All that. Oh, just a big punish here. And Ian actually being very conservative with his drive gauge. Oh, but one SPD. Could he go for the drive rush? No. Nice air to air from Ian. Dalsum doing such a great job zoning him out. No punish. Yeah, OK pressure is 100% like necessary to play deep. Like, yeah. there's just. You, the neutral is such a struggle. Like yeah, you, you, you have to have double an dash. That's yeah. for sure. Nice ex SPD drive rush. Like the need's not doing enough. You, you need the drive rush because there's just no pressure. There's no threat at a command grab. You need to be like right above, uh, you know, threatening something. At least crouching light or crouching jab or the command grab. Yeah. So, so that range is just too far. You need, he needs to take advantage to of normals too, right? He's not really doing standing medium punch once. Mm -hmm. He's not really taking advantage of uh, overhead kick. Yeah, uh, wheel kick is really the, strong. Exactly, but he's hitting the grabs. He just needs to add the other layers, right? Yeah. There you go, like converting that into a knockdown. Would have... Okay, crouching heavy punch is really not good. And I don't know. Yeah, see the thing is like, in, this is a very interesting Street Fighter where some characters just have absolutely non-essential moves. You're just never going to use that move, yeah. right? And I think that is it. Ronnie uh, getting knocked into loser's bracket. Ian moving on. I believe he's going to be in winner's finals. Probably. Yeah, no, I think that is winner's, right? right. I believe that's winner's finals with Aladar. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we're <laughs> back at moving it again. Moving pretty quick. Moving pretty quick. Back at it again, dude. Hey, man. I got to go. I got to go change my toilet, you know? I don't, don't want to do it, like, at night. So, you Seriously. Know. Oh, no, I got you. I got you. I mean, I'm going to go play my loser's match. All right. right now. So we're going to be getting another game in. It's going to be... Oh, so it's going to be Ronnie Caps 2 versus his manager. <laughs> Who, if, if Ronnie wins, Ken's fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, imagine being a Geef and you had to play a Dalsim and a into, JP. into JP. Into JP. No, like he could play, he could totally play Guile if he really wanted to. Honestly, EX uh, Boom is a very strong tool against JP. Is it three it, hit? It's two hit, but oh, it's, okay. you know, it's an EX, right? Oh, the three hit is the uh, the setup one, right? Yeah. Okay. So like Guile could actually opt to use four bars to do like 2,500 damage on an EX Boom. 
which is a huge amount in this game, right? 2,500 damage is basically 25% of your health. Yeah. Been a failure, been a success. Yeah, let's yeah. just. Yeah, no, 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 dude, this is a, it's a banger. What do you mean? Adrian's favorite song. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, this is a rough. This is rough. You know, like a board meeting, like a board of uh, directors approved this. Isn't that crazy? With, uh, with the song? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were talking about the matchup. Oh no, yeah, the matchup too. Like, what the heck? Who thought the like, geef? Yeah, it's a free tournament. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like Ronnie's gonna be uh, sticking with Geef here. Play Honda. Play Honda. Don't be a coward. Yeah. yeah. It's a free tournament, right? Okay, now this is actually worse for Geef. Actually, actually, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. If he blocks any headbutt. Honda is forced to backdash or neutral jump. He can't do anything else because oh, SPD he can't press, is five. SPD beats it. Yeah, SPD light SPD beats that range in, in that range, any range, any range of uh, headbutt, except like you know, yeah, super far range heavy, which is like Ken won't do, right? <laughs> He's smiling. He's like, dog. <laughs> so all Capsu, all Capsu has to do is just chill, block. And just wait for something, right? Oh my oh, lord! Man. He can just go in, right? Ken Sanity, his his job is on the Whoa. line. Getting in here, <laughs> SPD, bro. <laughs> nah, you no scholarships today. <laughs> wait, did Ronnie graduate? No, no, senior year, right? Oh, he's in senior. Oh, he's second year, second year. Oh, what? Oh, two. Oh, okay. Oh, but wait a minute, Capsu. Capsu does not know how to deal with it. But he can deal with it. He's still alive. He does have burnout. He needs to watch out for level one super. Ooh. Oh, Ken wow, is like. Got a lot of landing like Yeah, yeah. That was a, punish counter. It actually has a a lot. It's I think it's like 15 to 20 frames. It's crazy. Does go. Yeah, you got to air grab him out of. Uh, Butt slam. If he air grabs him out of butt slam, I might go crazy. Oh my the empty the tomahawk SPD. throw? He's going crazy. Oh. Oh no, you have to make sure that you have to do light SPD, which he can't do on modern controls unless he does the actual motion. He has to do the actual motion to get the light SPD. Oh, oh that's punish! That's punish! No! That's minus 20! How did that miss? Unfortunate, but he gets an SPD anyway! Ronnie! One hit. No. All right. I need to know is is uh Geef's level three like a frame zero super? No. Okay. No. So you can jump it post flash. Oh, actually, no. It is a frame one super, isn't it? Okay. Oh, look, it like, do you, do you need to be in the air before the flash? Yeah. So it's it's frame zero. Okay. It's frame zero grab. Oh, but that's a frame that's a frame zero. Get off me, dude. All right, Caps close to burnout. There it is. Oh man, he's got burnout again. Oh my God, Ken is not anti-airing. This is this is what people are gonna walk into. That's yeah, crazy, right? Yeah, you can't anti-air while holding back all the time. People are walking into the pro play arena. <laughs> Yo, this is real street fight. They're fighting in the streets, man. We got Doskoy and the modern Geef. Welcome to the pro play arena. In the pro play arena in the streets, but Ken. On the verge of taking it 2 0 or making it 2 0. And Ro honestly, Ronnie does not know how to deal with a Honda, right? And a lot of people don't. Yeah. Honda's one of the few characters in Street Fighter 6 where you have a very, very simple game plan. And you can actually revolve your whole game plan about, uh, around one move, which is Sumo Headbutt. And only a few characters have that. So it's a very polarizing sort of character set. But it doesn't matter if you get SPD'd and you're in the corner. So all he has to do is Yo, realize. Te test him. Yeah, all he has to do is realize that Ken. Oh, he said test him and he did the DI. And this is going to do so much That's damage. burned out too. He is burned out. So Capsu not going to be able to do a lot of defensive options and his EX SPD that he was doing earlier because he's burned out and he's susceptible to chip kill. Oh, that does not behind, work. Yeah. yeah. It's time to punish him. And there's Ken taking game two. I think Capsu needs to realize that Ken is over the age of 35, so he could probably DI him, right? Just, just throw it out there. Like, what is he gonna do? React? <laughs> See? 
Oh my god, he did it again! The madman that does not combo. He's like, oh yeah, I forgot. This man's old. <laughs> like, dude. Oh, but he needs to watch his meter. Yeah, he does. He's very close to burnout. And there's the burnout. Punish counter, Great yeah. punish counter. Ken doing a full combo. Ooh, he even had the lightning. And oh no, he drops his uh, 100 hand slap. And Ken's like, wait a minute. I'm the manager. I'm a DIM right now. Oh, he gets thrown. <laughs> he got thrown. He got thrown. He a little bit of a whiplash from Ken. Oh no. Oh, oh no. man! Oh my goodness! No, Ken not finishing the combo, but he gets the little toe touch to secure himself match point against <laughs> against one of his student athletes. Dude, I feel like this is like not cool. <laughs> Yo, Ken, and it makes it worse because Ken knows exactly what he's doing with he's doing headbutts like this. It's so funny. <laughs> Uh, but that's the thing, right? Is Honda can just kind of do this against most of the most players that are just not aware of how to deal with super yeah. headbutt. And Capsu has yet to really, real, uh, really realize how bad Honda can be. Like, oh no, oh no, I didn't. I think this might be dead. Yeah, he does have level three. And there it is. And Ken. Not fired. Let's go. All right, I am next, apparently. Uh, and it looks like Crushel's gonna be challenging. Jason. Jason Umayam, so it's gonna be a Chun-Li versus a Ryu fight. Going down in the bill. So you're up next on stream is Chun-Li versus Ryu. So Jason Umayam playing that Ryu. And of course, Crushel either gonna be playing Manon, uh, Chun-Li, or <laughs> or uh, Jury, most likely Chun Li. He's been playing in tournaments, so we'll see how that goes. Or he can go modern Lily or modern Geef. So we'll see how that goes. But again, thank you guys for watching this Guam uh, Esports Federation Global Esports Games 2023 National Qualifier. Of course, the winner of this tournament gets to get an all expenses paid trip to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia to represent Guam in Street Fighter 6 and of course Konami's eFootball. Again, this is sponsored by Wendy's, Docomo Pacific, Better Together, Great National Insurance, and of course, Cold Stone Creamery. And Laddie Esports would not be possible without our fine sponsors, Heavy Hitters, Guam Windward Memorial, Coffee Slut, the University of Guam, Triton Esports, and of course, the Guam Esports Federation. This is your boy Shadow Gaming. And we are going into the next loser's round with Jason Umayam playing that Ryu. And it looks like they're gonna be playing player one theme. I really hope Jason's on player one, but I don't think he is. So that's unfortunate. But we'll probably hear a nice Chun Li theme. It's fine, no big deal. Oh, the Cami theme is actually a banger. I like the Cami theme. So you're gonna kind of see he has to. Uh, you're gonna see uh, Jason having to adjust to someone who is a little bit more mechanically inclined with Street Fighter 6. You're gonna see Kreshel use more drive rushes, use more drive impacts, uh, potentially using a lot more uh, game mechanics that are specific to Street Fighter 6 uh, versus his previous uh, uh, opponent, which would be uh, Caps 2. So it's kind of worrisome. I wanna see how he's gonna react to it, if he, can, if he can react to drive impact, if he can react to drive rush. And this is kind of a classic matchup too, where Kami wants to get in through uh, using spin knuckle over a fireball, jump in with a dive kick, and uh, straight button check in the training room mode. This is literally a cursed, uh, a cursed scene. I would never want to see this in a real tournament. Training room is fake. And it looks like they're button checking still. Nice dive kicks. And it looks like they're gonna be ready. So unfortunate that we're not seeing, uh, that we're seeing training rooms still uh, chosen as the stage here. I feel like they should back out as a as a strategy to not be in training room, but I think they're gonna stick with training room. <laughs> it's no big deal. Training room is actually banned from the CPT. So, which is hilarious, right? Cause like, why would they include it? <laughs> But it makes sense, like training room is actually one of the most important for aspects of Street Fighter that they introduced because the lines on the bottom kind of dictate like the ranges that you want to be at uh, depending on your character, right? Kami actually wants to be basically half a box away from your opponent because that's where her standing medium kick and uh, standing light kick would be arguably the best uh, for whip punishing. No spiral uh, cannon strike. 
from Crushel, the uh, Dragon Punch from Kami to anti-air Ryu. And again, they're playing a very, very slow methodical game, waiting for that crouching medium punch range. You're seeing it actually in that full box range. Trying to trade with those crouching medium kicks and there's a conversion, but Crushel dropping the combo. And this is kind of like what you're seeing in more of a higher level Street Fighter where you want to be in the range where you can kind of walk forward and back out to make the opponent whiff and then punish them yourself. But there's Crushel taking game one. And the reason why we're on this scene is because I am too lazy to go onto the computer. So we're just gonna stick to this scene, watching both players play it out. No DP from Crushel, uh, from Jason Umayam playing the Ryu. Slow methodical play, but no confer a confirmation with that crouching medium kick from Jason. And there's one confirmation from uh, Crushel, but slow, really low on the drive gauge right now. Nice DP from uh, Crushel, but there's a super one of the few invincible reversals in Street Fighter 6. But great dive kick, no kill just yet. Whoa, the whiff throw, and Jason Umbayam trying to push his way into victory, but the dive kick. Punishing the throw attempt. Game one going to Crushel. And I like them still playing slow, right? Honestly, Crushel can kind of just go ham hocks and mungo beans against uh, Jason, just because he doesn't know what, like how to counter DI. He could DI in the corner for free. And, and I don't think Jason knows what to do because, because he's not uh, aware of the mechanic just yet. Oh, he's not aware of all. Oh, he has perfect parries down. I lied. He's actually the best. No, wow, that is a Street Fighter Five uh, Four anti-air. What is? It's so crazy because you see Jason kind of do old, old school, traditional Street Fighter Four combos that do not work in this game, and he's still kind of holding his own. Oh, but he does a random super, and unfortunately, Crushel does not punish it. But uh, Ryu not having a meter for the next round is kind of crucial for his damage output. And great confirmation from Kreshel. Crouching medium kick drive rush into standing heavy punch. And Kreshel playing really actually uh, very passively considering he's a Kami player. Oh, that may be why, because he's dropping his combos. <laughs> and I'm very, I'm genuinely surprised he's not trying to make uh, Jason hang himself. But I noticed that Jason's actually not throwing fireballs in the, in the mid screen. I think he's genuinely aware of Kami's overall game plan. Oh my god, as I say, he throws a fireball mid screen. But unfortunate, both players dropping their combos. Special conf confirmation from that target combo, putting Jason Umayam in the corner. Ryu having to push out. No Dragon Punch reversal to anti air that Kami. And this is kind of the hardest part. This is where top players kind of thrive, right? They know how to push themselves out of the corner instead of staying in the back foot. But Jason trying to try to react to something, but he doesn't get the anti-air. And unfortunate, Crushel taking game two. Jason having to adjust here. He's trying to do Dragon Punch, but I don't think it's coming out. Considering he's playing on Hitbox, that's most likely the case. He's trying to do medium Dragon Punch, but he's getting crouching medium instead. Nice confirmation with the Spire Arrow. No, no. And Jason just getting kind of hit here. Nice, using the parry. Still fighting for out of the corner, but he's not pushing himself out to maintain that space. Not using heavy punch, not using any sort of like uh, normals to try to cancel into a fireball to get that space out to push himself into the mid screen. Crescial kind of giving him the opportunity, but making him hang himself, throwing that fireball, punishing it with spin knuckle. Oh, but no punish. That was not a punish counter, but he still gets the throw. But just do it. EXDP securing himself match point against Jason Umayam on the verge of getting knocked out of this double elimination bracket. Wow, we made a double elimination, huh? Why did we make that? Why did we do that? <laughs> Crazy. Anyway. <laughs> nice pushing himself out of the corner, but oh man, backdashing. Doesn't really need to be doing that. Wow, he just did naked overhead. Jumping in, gets the cross up, but he doesn't get a full combo. Crescial, Kami. Trying to figure out a way to get in to get that level three meter built so he can do his super. 
Nice. Adv advantageous on block is that crouching heavy punch that you're seeing into a throw. Crescial has the pressure in. Nice parry. Ryu pushing himself out. Wants to maintain that mid-screen presence. Has to be careful. This could be the level three, but Crescial. Chicken fingers. Dropping his combo. He gets another chance. Unfortunate. He gets burned down. No DP. But unfortunate drop from Jason Umayam. And Crescial moving on in the loser's bracket. And I believe our uh, Crescial is going to be staying there. And I am challenging him. Yo, Ken. Ones and twos. Yo, 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 yo. We're moving to top four. The winner of this will go into the top four, I believe. Uh, we got Crushel versus Mr. Shado himself. It's a small tournament today, guys. But the winner, small tournament, but big prize is the winner will represent Guam at the Global Esports Games in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, December 14th to, I believe, December 18th. All expenses paid trip, including hotel, airfare, and other accommodations. Shout outs to Revo Shark, who won the eFootball uh, Championship and will be representing Guam at the uh, Global Esports Games. We're gonna find out who uh, will be representing uh, Guam in Street Fighter in just a moment as we head into the top four after this match. Ryu versus Chun, Shado versus Crescio. Crescio showing all his character choices today. And there we go, the nice crouching medium kick from Chun. Very long normal combo starter. Misses the anti air, is burnt out. Barry trying to use that DI, see if he can catch some random buttons since he knows not to expect the counter DI. China's burnt out, but she has her meter back now, so we're back to normal. Nice neutral jump on the Hashu Hosan shoe. Into throw. Into fresh. Nice DI. That's gonna burn Ryu out. And let's see what Fresho has here. Oh, nice little elbow. Drops the combo. This, oh, we needed a jab punish, I think. Now, this is a close round here. Ryu's gonna be getting his meter back shortly. There it is. And. And now Chun has to hold a lot of this, but you know, she could, if we had that modern Chun, he could have blasted through some of that string pressure, maybe. But now they're both burnt out. Oh, no, the whip. Punny, that's a big punish. Oh, no. Not like this. <gasps> Chun using one, one bar of meter there. Worth it. Got the round. Here we go. Round two, game one. Shado versus Kreshel. The stream. God versus the casting god. Which deity will prevail? We'll see soon. Chun in the corner. But fighting her way out. Nice drive impact, counter drive impact. Let's see what she can get off of that. Keeping the combo relatively simple. Here's a level two with the follow up. Oh, I don't know if that was a mix up. That was interesting. No anti air here. Chun got some anti airs, guys. She got that diagonal kick. Oh, nice little drive rush into, into the counter DI. It's gonna take all his meter. Barry saving the super gauge. Close, he's also close to um, burnout, so potentially, he was potentially saving that, um, you know, just in case he needs a, a reversal super. Now he spends it, secures the round so we can get a round three. Very nice. Barry with the traditional Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 3 buffer there. Medium kick special, super. The OG cancel. There we go with the throw. There, nice anti-air by Ryu. There we go, more throw pressure. Nice uh, tech right there by Chun. See the space for Ryu trying to give her a little space. Nice, you know, almost a pretty good read right there from Chun. Reading the potential fireball one with the DI. Gonna get the crush on the wall. 
will be able to extend that into some damage. So, Shado burnt out here, takes damage, has no meter. This is a difficult place to be. But he does get the tick throw. That's going to be a setup for some Moki. Oh, and the jump in. The ill timed fireball. Shado, Shado up uh, after winning the first match. Remember, this is first to three. The winner will make it to the top four. Ryu getting uh, block, forcing a block jump in. Getting some space here after the donkey kick ender on his combo. Chun with the DI, forcing Ryu even closer to the corner here. Yes, has Hashogeki on deck. Or, uh, sorry, Denjin Fireball. Oh, there we go. Ryu trying to get some chip down. Nice little DI option there. Smart on Ryu. He used the fireball a few times to set up some chip damage. And then not like any hit kills here. On block or hit or anything. So there it is. Ryu ending that uh, round nicely. He knew that um, Chun had very little meter. Put her, put her in a range where she was able, unable to DI and then just force the situation on, on her. Very nice. Shado, nice block on that and contested the overhead, uh, dry brush overhead. You know, when there's a lot of pressure, it's difficult to, to see a potential DI in the corner. Shado taking game two. Moving on nicely here. One game away from moving on to the top four. Nice. DP. Got some pressure. Jump in. Uncontested. Which means free pressure here for Ryu. DI gets the crush. Or the stun, I'm sorry. And we got the stun combo on deck? No, we don't. It goes for a shorter route here. Nah, he didn't have a lot of meter, so... Super meter, that is. Nice little parry choice here by Chan. Trying to win back some of the screen space. Ooh, it's getting caught by the DI again. Fireball swing. I mean, Chan has her own fireball. Whoa, that DP. And Shado just one round away from moving on to the top four. There we go, nice tick grab. Nice conversion right there. Awesome force knockdown combo. The awareness to get max damage there. So he is cornered. Um, let's see what Chuck can do here. Chuck respecting a lot of the buttons. Respecting a lot of that pressure. This is kind of where like system mechanics have to come into play. Kind of have to gamble a little. Use DI, use drive parry. And there, Shado is moving on.
All right, we got Shado versus Ken Sanity here. I think you're all mics on. That's that's hello. Yeah. All right, salad art. We're gonna be seeing an interesting match. Okay. Yeah, we got Shado in the corner with Ryu, rocking that Ryu in the top four, and Ken Sanity with a JP. Oh, huge. Great start with uh, Ken, even though he dropped the combo, he's... Oh, here we go. This is nice. This is the kind of um, space that JP really excels in. The full screen, keeping the keeping Shader in the corner. This is like... All right, random amnesia. Yeah. Probably miss him, but you know. Yeah, most likely get his input because like, I don't know what his inputs are. Uh, down, down, a spike is like I think a kick, and then amnesia is a down, down punch. So he might have like, confused it. Uh, this is definitely a place where JP kind of struggles in. She does have the gambit of going for OD amnesia. Doesn't matter. She don't get the first round. Keep it meterless. Yeah. This is optimal. Using dry rush to end rounds, that's kind of uh, optimal so that way you can save meter for the next round. We're still on training stage, are you serious? Yeah, because <laughs> I, I went back to stage select and picked it. Oh, wow. Uh, this is kind of. Yeah, pretty solid so far, defense. Oh, and a nice DP. Oh, All right, coming through. Yo, what a scramble. Here we go, what's the... Oh, he got the sauce? Does Ken have the sauce? Oh, oh okay. Gonna burn himself out, but... Oh, she's no. not to actually go for the level three. Gonna go for the setup with level two. No, but he doesn't... Shado doesn't care. He just used Toss to get out of there. Well, he's still kind of in a pinch, because he has a... JP has a life lead. But this is definitely doable. Nice Toss, that's a combo? That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I guess that's, yeah, I don't know how often you would get punish counter late hit <laughs> Tatsu. Tatsu. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is even, evening it up just a little bit, but Jake, Shadow, and a little bit of a. <laughs> he just did it! Wow. Shadow's down. Shadow's down just to Tatsu in neutral. Oh, this is a. This is a banger. Honestly, round, the final round Ryu, uh, Ryu's team is. Great. This is the power-up that Shadow needs. Oh, drive impact. Alright, and both players will have full bar. Unless... Actually, next interaction might... Okay, no, oh, not that yeah. combo. That combo won't kill, but it will burn out. Definitely burn out. JP in the corner, uh, but at least Ken has three... I thought he had three bars. Oh, oh no, he's still hey, alive. Like... Oh, raw. Oh, dang, that worked out. Now he has space to kind of breathe just for a little bit. Did give up the meter advantage he had now. Well, I guess he still has one, right? And yeah. JP can kill with one he, bar here. He can definitely kill. Okay, now he's done for sure. Oh, but this is gonna be it. Standing heavy punch. Shayla taking game one. Nice anti-air. This is definitely what he needs to do. After every DP, you should be able to at least drive rush to continue your pressure. And this is definitely the, sh the position that Shado needs. Nice jump. Kinsani was doing going, going for the delay tag. He's able to breathe just a little bit again. Oh, oh that's gonna be the no. wall flat. Should be the kill. And drive impact just works sometimes. Yeah. Shadow trying to go for the shimmy again, but Ken. Yeah, block, yeah. Nice defense so far. That drive impact is not going to slide up to the wall. Ken being very patient. Wow. Oh, gets Whoa. A combo there. Punish counter. That is optimal. Oh, he almost got the shimmy again. Oh, there's a drive. Oh, the amnesia. Does he spend the two bar? I, I, I think it's. Oh, oh I thought he was going to yeah. spend everything. That was definitely a kill combo. But Ken's still alive. He can definitely make this back. 
But yeah, being in burnout really sucks against JP. Yeah, you eat so yeah. much chip, and the spike being yeah. um, more advantageous on block yeah. means uh, the space you close per sequence he does is a lot lower. But oh. going for the trade there, taking game two. Definitely in Shadow's favor, going for the EX Hotto. I mean, he had the light lead, so he might as well just throw it out. Oh, he's going for the drive impacts, getting a little bit more daring to do it. Oh! Do we got the combo? Nice. This is the BMB that we're looking for. Setting up the portal. But man, oh, okay. <laughs> this is what happens when you mess up against JP. You just find yourself in a punish counter state. And then you're full screen again. Nice. Go, go for the throw. I like how Shado is trying to go for the chimmy so he can get more damage. Oh, here comes OD Amnesia. What's the mix from this? Oh! <laughs> That should be it. Yeah, that's it. Suit. Yep. Nice patience from Ken Sanity. But Shale was super daring. He didn't want to deal with the OD amnesia stuff. I like the pressure right away with Shado. Using the drive rush to put, like aggressively put JP in the corner. You don't want him to play his game. Here you go. Nice jump in. Very meaty damage. This is great. Nice. Oh! That should be it. Oh no, you dropped the combo. I also, you probably just want to save your bar. I didn't realize Ken yeah. was the one with the round here. So hopefully you can get this. Oh, well, next hit kills. Yeah, next hit kills for uh, for Ryu. Uh, JP has to do a bit of work. He has to, he has the resources to, to make the comeback. Yeah, and he's full screen. Yeah. Oh well, closing in. That's gonna oh just man. barely reach the wall, but Shadow finding the crouching medium kick there. Okay. Both characters have full bars, so any any hit can actually yeah, it can go like about 40 to 40 to 50 percent of your health. Nice, this is the hit. This is the hit that we're looking for. Going for the level three, cashing it all out. Not only does it get damaged, but your your drive gauge gets depleted significantly. Yeah, and he's back to full drive gauge too. So yeah, he's got a lot to work with here. He's gonna immediately start with the drive rush, drive yeah. impact. Another one, another one. Oh, he's going for it. <laughs> All right, yeah, you deserve oh, to get burned oh, out. No, okay. Man, you deserve to lose this round if you <laughs> if you spend it all like this. But if Shadow, there it is again. Oh man, he keeps getting it. Oh, is that no punish? Yeah, there's no punish for that. If it's mid screen, there's not a guaranteed punish. It's just a mix up after. Oh, oh here we go. We can. Two. Get himself the game. He's on the board. He's on the board. Shadow really spent it all. Now he put himself in. Yeah, he put himself in burnout. But I like the scrap going on. They're just, they're just doing it, man. Nice punish counter gonna give Shadow the burnout against Ken there. And that's gonna reach the walls. Yeah. Be stunned. What's our stun combo? What? What's our stun combo? <laughs> man, that was optimal. God, Shado, you have you have the new tech. That's the the mid the mid round uh, <laughs> button check. Yeah, 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 he was trying to test buttons. All right, now, all right, Ken, cleaning it up now. Also, but this oh. is loser semis, right? Yeah, this is loser semis. Oh yeah, this is top four. Oh, you and Ian have played yet? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice anti, oh, very clean. Anti you know, uh, JP doesn't actually have uh, just crashing heavy punch as an anti air. He also has an air throw, which uh, I don't think we've seen it yet. Nice. Oh, going for the double throw. That command grab. I ha you rarely see that command grab happen during this entire set. What's oh, the, the, the ghost. Yeah, yeah, the ghost. I mean, it looks like people say, like, oh, it's easy to react to because like, there's a very small difference in the sound. Yeah. But nah, dude, with the mental stack in this game. Oh! Oh, here we go. I feel like it's especially hard to see uh, when, when they do it point blank. Yeah. You gonna cash out? Oh. Oh, he didn't cash out. Th that could have been a kill, but Shadow's still alive. Oh, wow. Nice call out on the Shadow's approach. Putting yeah. the, 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 the close spikes. The spikes are. I've never seen the close spikes. You usually see them full screen, but nice. Good defensively. Oh, good we're going answer. To game five. Game five. This is pretty close. Nice. But yeah, that those two spikes 
when they're on the screen is basically a, a mix-up for, for JP. So it's not guaranteed damage, but still it's very, it's very annoying to deal with. Shado and Burnout, but he's still being very offensive. He was gonna do it again. Yeah, man. Oh, the Shado classic going for the low. Shado at match point. Nice DP. Oh man, the, the amnesia. They the throw also. Yeah, this is the big damage, but no, only two bars. Gonna spend one. Yeah. The next interaction kills, breaks wow, it, but the trade. trade. All right, now you have to hold this no bar unless you just want the level. Yeah. Wait, what's this? What's gonna happen? Oh, punish counter. That's a lot of damage. What the heck? Oh, yeah, that's it's it. A DP. Yeah, JP. Does uh, does Ryu have an invincible level one? Yeah, uh, his uh, Shinku. It's level. It's invincible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I was expecting. Cause at least it's a projectile, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Also, we do need winners final, so yeah, yeah. You're I'll up next. We're gonna go back to actual people who know how to play Street Fighter. Up next, we got Aladar versus the champion, a reflection of yesterday's grand finals, but winner's finals this time. Again, this is your boy Shadow Gaming coming back to you with the Guam Esports Federation Global Esports Games 2023 National Qualifier. The winner of this double elimination tournament is gonna to be making their way to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia to represent Guam at the Global Esports Games. Of course, this is an all expenses paid trip. So if you have won, if you win this tournament, you basically go to Riyadh. So we actually actually already have, I uh, believe, eFootball's uh, tournament has concluded, and who won? <laughs> uh, do we have a bracket? I think we have a bracket. I, I'm not too sure. Oh, who won I see that. it. Yeah. Revo Shark, Revo Shark did win that. Revo Shark won the uh, eFootball <laughs> tournament, if you will. Oh uh, yeah, bracket isn't updated. Okay, so Revo Shark did take it though. If I recall correctly, and he's going to be making his way to Riyadh, oh, Adrian, Saudi, Saudi your, Arabia. Uh, your pad. Oh yeah, just a uh, Windows D. We'll hide that. Yeah, Windows D, and then the settings should already be there. There you go. Dude, they need a fan in here. Is that air? Con they, they took, took the air it. They took the air conditioner. Yeah, they took it. That's crazy. Anyway, so this is going to be winner's finals. Again, this is a first to three. Whoever wins this is guaranteed at least the grand finals for their chance to win a trip to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia to represent Guam in the Global Esports Games 2023. Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, man. That's crazy. Uh, I just joined the tournament because I wanted to play Street Fighter, but I am going to be joining the player who will be winning this tournament as the team manager for the Global or for Guam Esports Federation's representative. And of course, Ian going to be playing that Dalzim, very good space control and normals. However, he was absolutely molly whopped by Aladar last tournament. So we're going to see how we can adjust here. He was getting he was getting hit a lot from uh, like jump in on block he would whiff a throw and then Aladar would just capitalize and that is kind of like a very a very classic counter to a Street Fighter 4 player uh, Aladar would do that a lot as Rashid and Street Fighter 5 and you know like it's even worse here because throws have such high uh, amount of uh, recovery frames than it was in Street Fighter 4 and 5 so I want to see if uh, Ian can adjust here he is very cognizant of that weakness and very cognizant of uh, him getting hit by that so hopefully he can adjust here with this next game you're already seeing Aladar use all of his drive meter to try push Ian into the corner but I want to see Ian adjust and it looks like he is he's trying to maintain that sort of full screen space try to weather like try to prevent this storm of offense from uh, Aladar to come in and I like Aladar still doing that quintessential EX sandblast to try to negate a lot of Dalzim's uh, uh, full screen presence Oh, and I don't think he knows about the parrying after the sandblast. Nice DI jump over. 
Oh, but he uses all of Burnout, his meters. But take him back to the corner. Yeah, Burnout's kind of huge. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe looking for a teleport. Oh, avoids the drive he, reversal. He jump over the drive reversal? That's what Ian was using so much. Yeah. He's getting a lot of uh, mileage out of it yesterday. Yeah, and it looks like it's not going to be an issue for Aladar to get over it if he can read it correctly. I think he reacted to the freeze. There's no. Like, it, could, it could have also just been maybe he was calling out throw. Yeah. It covers both options. Yeah, it covers both options. Yeah. You're absolutely right. So Ian probably has to just hold that and just sort of react to the jump in after uh, blocking it. And I think I told him that too. It's like you have to really consider that Street Fighter 6 has a lot of throw tech uh, frames. Yeah, it is pretty. It's pretty generous. It's very, yeah, it's quite generous. See, he got punished again for trying to throw, and he might be dead here. Cash out the level three. Yep, and he doesn't even go for the heavy flash knuckle, doesn't want to risk anything, goes straight to the medium one. And we're going to go to ten Tennessee in Memphis. Aladar, strong game showing one. for game one. I don't know what Ian can do. Like, he just has to react, right? Like, yeah. react to... On defense? Yeah. Yeah, he just has to react to the jump. Like, if anything, I would rather take the throw, because, like... The punish counter? Yeah. Yeah. Because the amount of damage and corner carry that Luke, Luke can do... Oh, my... Whoa! Okay. Okay. Great perfect parry into a full combo. Nice overhead. Oh, yeah. oh man. Aladar, uh, another yeah. overhead. He's gonna do He's it going, again. Okay. And it's still safe on block even after blocking it. Damn, he just got mauled. And that's the strength of Aladar. He has this insanely oppressive offense considering his character pick. Like Luke nice. is. Swift punish though. Game that knockdown. Two dashes and he's in now. Yeah, and Luke has doesn't have exactly have the best tools to maintain offense, but Alar is making it work. Oh, he did uh, it again. again. And look at that. You could have just took a couple hundred damage and now you got a perfect KO. Game two going to Aladar convincingly. Nice. And Ian really needs to adjust here. It's really rough, right? Because Aladar just seems to have his number. Especially with the DI. But oh, he dropped the combo. It. Oh, and the, the anti-air drops as well. The cross-up is really difficult to deal with in any character in the game. Nice. Getting himself out of the corner is Ian. Nice negating that EX Yoga Flame with his own. Wow, what a whiff punish. Very cognizant of Dalsim's uh, capabilities in the mid-screen. What a punish! Level one? Yeah, it is. At least gonna... Oh my god, wow, kill. killed. I... <laughs> All right. And match point going to Aladar. This is looking... I think this is round... This is game two. Yeah, this is yeah. game two. So match point Aladar already. Oh no. Dropping the combo though, but he gets another one. The All-American reset. Luke Sullivan straight from Memphis, Tennessee. Oh no, plus frames on uh, all of this right now. And he's close to burnout. He is, he has to hold. Oh no, That's he's burned out now. This is really rough, but if he gets that level two, he does. Right. Ian, still an opportunity for him to do some damage here, especially the corner, but he doesn't get the, oh, the anti-air. And that was a quick 3-0. Aladar oh, moving on to grand finals. Oh, oh, it was. I missed, yeah. I missed the scoreboard. Yeah, it was two. Yeah, because I, saw, I uh, saw two win streak and I'm like, ain't no way this, uh, is, this is only one game one or game uh, two. So it's you and Ian, right? All right, so yeah. I'm going to be challenging Ian. Talked all that smack and now I'm going to get Bob for it. Okay. All right, we got two more sets to go through. We got, this is our losers finals and we got grands right after. You know what's the greatest thing about Street Fighter 6? What? You don't have to go through 21 minute sets. These would normally take like... Street Fighter 6 normally takes about 5 to 8 minutes. Yeah. Feels the same to me. I came from Strive. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Street Fighter, or Strive just went from like 1st to 2 to 1st to 3 like in the very beginning of the game, yeah. right? Yeah. It's fine. Game's fast. Yeah. Game's a little longer now. For a strive? New season, yeah. New oh. season's a little longer. That's cool to know. But we got... We got Shado on Ryu. We got the champion versus Shado. I cannot sign the start GG. Okay. Alright, 
right, so I was going to ask this, and this is a good time to bring it up. What are you looking for against Dalsim, right? Against Dalsim, there's a lot. Um, you have to be very patient with him, because if you saw... He doesn't have much defensive options. You gotta be oh, wow. Right, you gotta you be know. cognizant about his only reversal is level two. Even right. then, it's pretty bad. Um, and his drive reversal, even though like drive reversal can be good, like if you use it poorly, if you're able to bait it against Dalsim, he just gets blown up in defense. Um, be patient when he goes throws out fireballs and the limbs. If you're able to. Um, with punished like standing heavy kick or his crafting heavy punches, and you're able to get in just from two dashes. Right. Yeah. Uh, you get like a sweep with, with punish. Yeah, and then you dash in, you're in, and now Dalsim has to hold that. But he does have ways to get out. Like, oh, you know how well Kami has uh, like instant wake up oh. dive kick, dive kick. Oh yeah. Yeah, he, she has ex dive kick. I mean, Dalsim kind of has that, but it's a lot slower and it's not an ex. No, when I see that, I think of. Faust. Oh yeah, it's kind of like that, yeah. Except Faust is always minus. It's always Wait, minus. Can the dive kick, can, can Sim's dive kick be plus? It can be plus. Okay. You hit the toes. That's kind of always the the rule with Street Fighter. If your dive kick hits a toes, Meaty, yeah, or like a, how deep it hits, yeah, 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 it's plus. Ian's playing that game right now where. He's using the teleport is nice and tear, and there's the there's the dive kick we've been talking about. And even though people say like Dalsim is kind of a long range character, he can play um, he can play rush down if he wanted to. He has a bit, yeah. yeah. Especially with his uh, the what was the end, but down back that down back normals. Yeah, yeah. Actually, after it, like after a knockdown, you can do like drive rush slide with Dalsim, and it's your turn. And you can continue your pressure from there. Yeah, slide is interesting because it's like how immediate it hits, you can also get uh, just normal confirms off of it. Yeah, and here comes the drive rush combo. Dropped it, that could have been game, but this is still in Ian's control. Nice hands here. Shadow is still having a hard time trying to get it. Oh, he's about to be burned out soon. Yeah, and yeah, this is against a zoner with this much HP left, you don't want to. Burnout is pretty much like over. Oh, oh, but that's gonna be it. Game one to Ian. Yeah, Ian's in def definitely on the driver's seat right now. But yeah, he can zone. He, he has all the tools to be his owner. Yeah, that's sending heavy kick actually. Um, even though it's like that high, you can actually crouch it. And then you can whip on it afterwards. Interesting. Yeah, so he does have uh, special cancelable normals, crouching medium punch and standing heavy kick. So he kind of uses that and then cancels into like oh, yoga plane. Oh drop. no. Oh, but doesn't get the grounded hit. Teleports out of the corner too. All right, but we all, yep. Oh, the trade. Fireball covering, yep. Yeah, that's so, that's so cool oh, that he yeah. has that special move. Oh wow, DP. Oh. Ian puts himself in the corner, and Shadow's gonna get his drive gauge back first. But Ian fights his way out. Still in range with the corner. Oh, it's gonna be it, but it's no, a combo. No stun, no stun. Oh, uh, who wins here? Oh, okay. All right. Nice from Shadow. And those moments where driving back looks so close, it feels like it's gonna trip, like, you're gonna hit it, go back into the clash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I like that. I like that setup where he just goes for the yoga, yoga arch, straight slide. Gets more uh, space control here. Oh, that thing stays for that yoga arch. It's yeah, three hits, right? Yeah, three hits. <laughs> and it bounces around like it just stays there on the screen. Oh. Oh, oh, but wow. the fireball, like, ruined the punish. Oh, he doesn't get much from standing, uh, oh. heavy punish, punish counter. Shado holding the parry too long and burn himself out. Oh, a perfect KO from Ian. Ian's sitting pretty with three bars. He can definitely chill out for a bit. Shado needs to find a way in. Nice DP. This is definitely the... Once you get, uh, Dalsim knocked down, you need to put it into pressure. Okay. This is very small. 
Slow game right now, but Shado. Oh, that was yep, cute. Finds a good jump. Oh, tries to bait the throw. Almost had a huge jump in from that standing heavy punch. If he had that. Nice. Oh, baits the, the, the delay tag. This should be it. Oh, it goes for the same Take the empty low. Nice. Real win. Shado putting himself on the board. 1-1. One, one. Again, this is the first of three. Yeah, I think Shado's going for these uh, these neutral jumps because when he was commentating your match, he was pointing out how Ian's defensive options to drive rush in those sorts of situations usually is a throw tech. Yeah. So you see it again. Yeah, there you go. And Dawson's uh, defense is very limited to begin with, so... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's best just to hold it. I, I hold the, the throw. Because if you get shimmied or if the, v the drive reversal doesn't work, you eat a ton of damage. Ian controlling the space right now. This is looking. Oh, Ooh, was thinking it was gonna be that button. Yeah. All right, but it's huge long punch counter. Uh, gonna go for see the bait again. Oh, he tried to bait it, but parry to drive reversal. This is act that was an actually nice decision from uh, Ian. From Ian, like, like a delayed, uh, delayed parry. But th the worst that can happen when he's in a parry state is he gets counter, uh, punish counter throw, which is not bad in comparison to like a yeah. like this something like this. Oh, drive off the bat. This is there it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is the damage you definitely want to avoid as Dalsum because it's kind of hard to come back from this. Yeah. It's also interesting to think because how many times has Shado even gone for throw in that situation? Yeah, well, almost never. Right. Oh, and just like that, Dalsum, Ian. Ooh, oh, Shado got... getting a taste of his own medicine. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Gets him back to the corner. Uh, the, the fireball didn't save him. Dalsum, uh, Ian, all close to burnout. But he needs to chill out for a bit. Oh no, this is not it. Yeah, we just talked about that, right? Like, uh, well, yeah. me and Shado were talking how the neutral jump covers both of Ian's like main defensive uh, responses, right? It's uh, drive reversal or throw. And throw beats both of them. Yeah. Or jump beats. Yeah, jump beats. Jump beats both of them. Sorry. Yeah, and I, I think it's, I think it's best to just block at that instance, because if you're gonna get blown up for that rip. Oh, Ian. Ian getting back his footing, though. Oh, this is nice. Oh, the float height slightly off. Yeah, you can use the float height in order to, like, completely avoid fireballs, which is really nice. Because if you, as Dalsum, you want to control the pace of the match. And it's kind of hard to, for the opponent to get something going if you're just floating yeah. in the air. It's kind of like, this is, this is a dumb reference, but the way I see it is Peach versus uh, Falco. Yeah, yeah. The, the melee? Yeah, the oh, float, yeah, yeah. float above the lasers. That's exactly what it looks like to me. That's definitely that's definitely a good comparison, though. Oh, he's going for the neutral jumps. He just oh, wants here. some meaty damage. Oh, drive impact, but doesn't have enough life to tank it. Oh, that's, that's it right there. That was a beautiful float from uh, Ian. Now he's able to get some something going. Oh, I, I thought that was the slide, but he went for the... I don't know what that was. I think that's that's right down forward. Yeah, down forward heavy kick or something like that. Oh, Finds oh. the big starter too. That wasn't the usual uh, light punch. Yeah, nice throw. Can continue the pressure there with slide. There it is. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but Ian kind of flubbed whatever follow up he was going to go for. Shado shaking it off. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was going to punish the drive impact. Doing it again to force Dalsim into the corner. But remember, Dalsim can teleport out of it anytime. Ian can find it. There's, there it is. Oh, what a bait from Shado. Uh, also going to burn him out. It's not going to be dead, but this is critical art, so it's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage, and Shado, Shado can make this comeback. He does have a reversal oh. available, though. Oh, he's trying to go for everything. It? No, he got shipped out. 2-2, two, two, Ian. Now going straight into game five. I love the pace, this pace. Straight back into it. And this is the one thing that a lot of, I really like with uh, our community, where we're able to, we're able to actually use drive rush follow-ups. Nice. 
Dragon Pack to force himself out, but Ian keeping Shado in. Almost at the verge of burn now, and he's kind of low at health. Shado needs to find a way out of there. But Ian, solid wall. Using the wa using the Yoga Fires. Oh, he's out of there. Huge damage, putting himself, himself in burnout, out. but let's see if he's but able he's to get the corner, right? Yeah. So it's not all bad. Yeah, no reverse. There it is. No reversal from Ian. No true reversal. Oh! Got himself off the corner. Oh, that's huge. Didn't follow up after that jump in. Oh, nice. Oh, There's wait, a reversal. Be... That might hit. Oh! No, oh, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't know! know. He doesn't know. He probably could have just tapped like crouching medium kick, right? And it would have no, uh, he would have went under it. So the thing is, like, when it comes to a reversal uh, level two with Dalsim, uh, the best and safest way to get to deal with it is just grab, punish counter grab, and the fire. Oh, because yeah. you, you can do it while crouching. Yeah, I forget that. I always still try to attack standing. Oh man, he got cheesed out. He didn't. Shadow didn't know. That was definitely Shadow's match to win, but Dal and Ian's in full control. This is not looking good. Oh, oh there's the yoga play. Hits. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna get it. That works. Nice, beautiful whip punish. Gonna get like half of his bar back. Yeah, this is pretty winnable. This is winnable. Come on. And you're gonna get your. Yeah, you're gonna get, be out of burnout pretty soon. If you just hold on a little bit longer. Whoa. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Ian puts himself in burnout. Doesn't matter. Dawson and Burnout. And now Shadow can work with these EX fireballs, but a good teleport from Ian's gonna keep him yeah. out of the pressure. Yeah, Ian really needs to chill out. Oh, here he Just comes. Chip him. Chip. There it is. Final, final round. Game. Game five. five. Oh, this is the this is the power up. We're on Rio's team. There we go. We're bringing it up for Shadow. Oh no. Like this, Kano, with your own theme song. Oh, I think one more block. Yep, oh, or a punish counter. It's very dangerous situation. It's so for Shado. loud. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. Bro, I can't. Oh, there's. Oh! oh! He's still alive. Shado's still alive. Shado just needs to hang out a little bit longer so he can get out of burnout. Oh, oh, he he it oh. Wait, oh, he, he dropped it. That wasn't a stun because he got his bar back yeah, right before the hit. Just in time. Oh, oh but that's it. Too much hits, too much block stun to go for the grab. GG, Ian. Grand finals. All right, we are in grand finals now. Ian, making it to grand finals, guaranteeing at least the opportunity to make it to Riyadh, yeah. Saudi Arabia, but Alidar. So here's some stats for you guys. What's up? Um, How many neutral Alidar, yeah, no, Alidar and Ian have been in every offline grand finals for Street Fighter VI for Guam. Yeah, in Guam history. Yeah. Aladar has been in every single Grand Finals. Ian has been in every single Grand Finals <laughs> in uh, Street Fighter VI's offline history on Guam, which just started, uh, what, yesterday? <laughs> Sick. But, um, yeah, I want to see Ian kind of adjust. Obviously, he was doing really good in terms of space control. Yeah. Uh, right? But in terms of, like, actually... Go all the way to the right. <laughs> go all the way to the right, dude. But yeah, like oh, yeah, yeah. He, he's really good at maintaining the space control. But I think that uh, with Aladar's offense, right, like he is was just getting blown up by trying to do a throw attempt. And in the end, it's better. You're better off just taking the throw. You're taking a hundred some damage, like 120 damage or something like that, or 500. I'm sorry, it's it's, it's Street Fighter uh, six. But you're taking a chunk of damage versus a bigger chunk of damage, right? So your 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 opportunity cost is much different. It's also plus uh, it's going to be a punish counter if he gets to jump in. So so you also lose some gauge. Yeah. So he's losing so much. And there's a punish counter right there. A lot of drive gauge already being taken away from Dalzim. And there's his, this is Aladar's offense, right? He's so scary when it comes down to it. I like that. Yeah, parry into dri right, drive the reversal. Delayed one. Yeah. 
The only problem that I can see right now is that Aladar has 100% health right now. So there's a huge deficit right now. With especially, the thing is, right, is that Luke's offense isn't necessarily uh, oppressive, right? Obviously, he has a lot of forward advancing normals, and the flash knuckle is quite crazy on block, especially the heavy blocked one. I will but, say, I like, Alidar took the first round there, but I like the adjustments he saw. Yeah. Ian, uh, Alidar went for the, the empty neutral jump. Ian just waited, and he got the anti-air. Yep. He's reacting to those jumps now. Yeah, he needs to, right? It's better to react to, the, react to a, another neutral jump than it is to take the throw. Nice, good counter hit. What a parry, and that's punish oh, counter. That's punish too, yeah. Yep, get some good drive gauge back. When you do a punish counter, you also get a big chunk of drive gauge, and he barely has. He has a sliver of drive gauge back, so he doesn't even burn out doing this combo. Yep, and he's gonna get two bars out of this. Oh, okay, one and a half. It froze. <laughs> yeah, it froze. Sick. Oh, he just went for it. Punish counter. Punish counter. Oh. Ian in burnout territory. There's Great he. anti there it is. Good reaction, but he burned himself out. He has to really worry about Luke's uh, footsie beam in Sandblast, especially at this range. Kind of scary to throw anything out. And it's very fast. Oh, like I said, on reaction to anything, EX Sandblast is a very strong tool to cancel out a lot of Dalsim's offense or neutral tools. Yeah, I like this team. Yeah, dude, Gen Blue Temple is actually such a great looking stage. Oh no, the DI into the corner. And look at that, you're actually seeing an adjustment from Aladar as well. He's not going immediately for the neutral jump, he's actually going for a little bit more guaranteed uh, block string. He has a side switch on that neutral jump though. Yeah, not exactly his best uh, option against the Luke, but oh, it's back. back. It's back. It's back. And he gets to throw for his troubles afterwards. Two. Oh. Oh, it's rough. And he, Aladar, it's it's always Dalsim and Ian on the back foot, right? Yeah. And the only way Ian's gonna really get any sort of control going is if he's in the full screen or at least mid-screen to the point where he can actually control the, the, the rage, right, of Aladar. And that was his anti-air opportunity, missing it. And now all of this pressure is because of that missed anti-air. Oh, the perfect parry. Yeah, it's not the worst thing that can happen to Ian, De but. Definitely not. But this back is to back to the corner you go. Pressure still mounting. Oh, we try to go for another perfect parry. Dude, Aladar is so mean. Like, he's not even doing a DI back. He knows he can, but he's just opting to do a perfect parry, and this could be it. And it is game two going to Aladar. Look at making quick work right now. And this is the caliber of like Aladar's skill level versus like the rest of the community right now, right? Is that this guy was like, he's, he's also just grinding in the region. He yeah. plays in all the Southeast Asian tournaments. He placed in Interca uh, Intercontinental Fight Club, I think like top 20 or something like that. So he is a world competitor. Yeah, and you see the, we're talking about how Ian's defense adjusted, but look at how Alizar's offense also adjusted. Yeah, he definitely adjusted. Nice, I like it. Oh, minus eight. Yep, he knows, and this is a good, this is dead. This is dead. Yep. The thing about drive reversals, it's a very strong tool to get you off, but if, if it's on block, it's minus eight. Minus it's eight, it's yeah. insanely punishable. Nice, dodging. Oh, no anti-air, but great DI reversal. Could go for a burnout, but might just take... Oh, yeah, I okay, love yeah, it going for the DI. Getting rid of that drive rush is a huge uh, part of Aladar's game to just maintain right. that pressure. Because you, Aladar loses access to uh, EX Sandblast. Which is, yeah. Like, but you're noticing that Ian is not opting to do anything uh, crazy pressure-wise. He's trying to go for the block strings, but Aladar is almost back with drive gauge. And there it is, EX Sandblast is on deck, and there, yeah, as he, soon as he's able to use the, it. He can't find the right float height, yeah. Um, this oh, is look at scary. the patience from Ian, see? Great patience yeah. from Ian. Yeah, gets the anti-air. Gets the side switch as well. Trying to DI push himself out of the corner is Aladar Great burning bash. himself out. Ian burning himself out. Great nice. anti-air, finally putting himself on the board. This is actually match point. This is tournament point for Ian, if I recall. So, kind of scary. Or not tournament point for Aladar, I'm yeah. sorry. Wow, that thing lasts a while, huh? Ian trying to get trying to survive in this grand finals. He has to win six games in a row to make this work. 
Oh my god, he tried to slide under Sandblast. Oh. No, this is Will huge. He build the level three? Nah, Not with this won't. route. We're gonna but go for the next interaction. Gets a punch counter in the anti air attempt. Oh, he's gonna dead. cash it out. Yeah, he's dead. He oh. up. Oh. He, I like Aladar still sticking to his guns. I think he knew that it wasn't in critical art territory, so probably wasn't going to kill with that much uh, health also, left. Maybe it's a thing he didn't want to put Ian in critical art, too. Oh, yeah, oh, that's really smart. Nice anti air. Let's see if Ian can make the adjustments here. Oh my god, he's going for it. Ham hops and Uncle Beans, but no super at the end. He needs that critical. He's in critical art territory. His only form of uh, reversal is level two and level three. Great chip from Aladar. I and was Ian waiting for that second bar. Has access to another, but walk him oh, all the way to the corner. Yeah. Jump. And Ian getting knocked out. Aladar securing his spot in Saudi Arabia, representing Guam in the Riyadh Games, the Global Esports Games in 2023. Congratulations to him for winning that free trip to Saudi Arabia. Good job, good job. And of course, thank you to Ian making it second place again, considering he hasn't joined tournaments in half a decade. Good stuff to him. And of course, this is your boy Shido Gaming. We'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, Wendy's, Jokomo Pacific, Better Together, Cold Stone Creamery, and of course, great national insurance underwriters. And Aladdin Esports would not be possible without Guam Winner Memorial, Heavy Hitters, Coffee Slut, Triton Esports, and of course, the Gu Guam Esports Federation. Again, this is your commentator. And with me, Kreshel, is Shado Gaming. We're going to be logging out. So thank you guys for watching. See us in the next tournament in September uh, for more Lighting Esports Summer and Fall Showdown action. Take it easy. Okay.